We turn now to the latest on a developing environmental and public health story out of Indiana where a massive fire at a recycling facility has forced officials to evacuate thousands of residents with toxic fumes filling the air. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. With black smoke and toxic fumes filling the air, more than 2,000 residents in Wayne County, Indiana, forced from their homes. If you can uh, see the smoke, you're in the smoke, get out of the smoke. Officials say the fire started Tuesday afternoon about 70 miles outside of Indianapolis, a tractor trailer bursting into flames, which quickly spread to this recycling facility. The fire chief saying the facility is partly owned by the city of Richmond and a private citizen, and that individual had been warned several times and cited for unsafe conditions there. Uh, this person has been negligent and irresponsible, and it's led to putting a lot of people in danger. Satellite images show just how massive the blaze is. I was actually on North 12th Street and I happened to look out my look out my window and I seen the smoke rolling almost looked like a storm was brewing. The town ordering evacuations within a half mile, though authorities say as the winds change, so might the evacuation zone. Those outside the current zone urged to shelter in place. And we got ambers and everything else flying over. The town's fire chief saying the flames were feeding off of unknown types of plastics. We won't know uh, whether the residents can come back in until after we do the air quality testing. The EPA and Indiana Department of Environmental Management now doing tests as concern grows over the long-term impact. These are relatively poor regions, uh, working families, working people, and the health effects of these disasters can be tremendous. Officials say the fire could burn for days. No word on when people will be able to return home. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.